All right, uh, greetings family. This is Bomani Tamba, and welcome to our Africa for the African Tours and Investment Conference call. And today's date is February 20th, 2022. And I'm looking to share details with all of our upcoming tours from Ghana, May 2022 to Senegal, the Gambia, March April 2023. I saw all of the reference uh, that I'm going to be talking about in reference to our tour as we commence on our 16th tour year from 2006 to now 2022. And last year we completed four beautiful journeys to Africa. So we completed the Senegal and the Gambia April 2021 journey, Ghana May, Tanzania in November, and then Ghana in December again. And so what I have is all the documentation uh, for those videos and photos that's online. So anyone that's uh, interested and want to actually see what we did the year before or the years before, they can always go to our online uh, source, which is the website, Africa for the Africans.org. And so what I'm going to do is just do a quick share of the, the current fly that we have. All right, so it gives you those dates. So that's Ghana, May 24th to June 5th, Tanzania, November 17th to the 28th, and Ghana, December 24th to January 5th, and then Senegal and the Gambia, March 31st to April 10th. So once you're on the website, africafortafricans.org, uh, you can just click on those links from the main menu, and it's going to give you 100% of all the tour information. So that's one of those things I'm always uh, explaining to everyone, that uh, let's go by the documentation, and if you have questions and you need something clear up, reach out to me directly. You can always email me, call me, send me a message on WhatsApp, and things like that. And if you call and um, leave a message, that's fine. But also, uh, text is also good, and email is also good. So you can just do uh, both uh, communication. And then I'll definitely get back to you uh, as soon as possible, and then just answer any questions. So right now, I also have everyone that's traveling with us for these journeys. We have the uh, WhatsApp group set. So on the WhatsApp group, my goal is to just share the conference call details from the, you know, the conference call information as far as what we're going to be doing, and then also to share the recording and share any documentation or any need-to-know information that, um, that individuals may not be clear on. So that's the source to get 100% information. And if you have any questions, I always recommend individuals to reach out to me and let's talk. And like I mentioned, if you get me on the phone, just send me a message and you know, send me a short detail message, and I'll just uh, get right back to you. I want to make sure that we have full transparency on this operation that we're doing, especially with um, uh, the Ghana journey. The you know they're they established, so it's good Tanzania journey. I'm building that one. That's you know we're looking at the the third Tanzania journey that we've done, uh, November 2020, 21, and now 2022. The Senegal and the Gambia journey for this year, unfortunately. It was just a stressful situation trying to get people to commit to the journey when you have a bunch of people telling you that they're going to come and things like that. But at the end of the day, when you're looking at two and a half months or ten weeks away from a journey, if the numbers is not there, we can't move forward. Uh, I did my best last year to work with an average of, I want to say an average, it was like 13 to 15 of us on each of the tours. Uh, so, and, you know, it's unfortunate, but that's what we're dealing with. Uh, that's the, the COVID era uh, that we're in. So we're used to this, yeah, having about 25 to 30 people on average for the journeys. So now what we're working with is 50% of that. And But we're also telling individuals that I've done six journeys from the COVID era, two in 2020 and four in 2021. And, yes, it is a little stressful for COVID tests, this and that, but the reason why we just made those things work is to show individuals that let's keep on going what we're doing. We were doing a nice energy connecting to Africa. And all of the countries that I have on the – schedule is honestly the schedule the, the schedule is dedicated to repatriation for those who want to live and do business in Africa uh, we have a whole lot more in Ghana set up because you know we have that black star pan-african community the 15 and the 60 acres of land so and then we have people living and people building on the, that land so I like the flow of that and it's going well um, so I have to spend more time in Tanzania Senegal and the Gambia and build those relationships because what we're ultimately looking to do is to get things set up to where you know we can go back and forth on tours, investment, business, and also, 
not just going to Africa, spinning our wheels, and doing roots and culture tours all of our lives. We have to get into the level of investing. I'm not saying everyone. You know, taking over 500 people uh, with us on tours, and you know, maybe about 10 percent of those individuals may be interested. And I do realize that the more we build and connect and set up in Africa, then the better we can literally uh, share and offer to people. So that's ultimately uh, what we're doing. We're building that energy and keeping it going. Um, I've known a lot of people that have given up on their business and things like that because of the COVID era and things like that. But, you know, family, <laughs> I'm a fighting man. This is, this is our generational connection. Uh, you know, I have my family in New York, uh, you know, Jamaica, and other parts of the world, Canada, England, and, this, and you know, all over the East Coast. And, you know, when you have a family, and all of us do is just work, 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 and make the system richer. You know, you're telling us, like, hey, let's get into business, investment, import, export, real estate development, and things like that. So what you're looking at is roots and culture tours at the foundation, without a doubt. Uh, but also the next level is black ownership. And that's why when we do these journeys, uh, we tend to just spend the majority of energy supporting black-owned business. Uh, so the limitation on the schedule that I have, I want to say Ghana is 100% uh, you know, Black owned schedule as far as just underground. The airlines are Delta, KLM, and Air France, so that's what that is. Uh, we're very limited on, on those options. Uh, and when we do find better options, we'll do our best. But right now, that's the best setup I have that's going to deliver you and make sure that your bags and everything is set up and then make sure we can get you flights from wherever you are. So that's the most you know, organized connections that we have. I'm not feeling united. I did do my best, honestly, to try. Um, it did get us a little bit earlier there, but um, it's you know they don't they're not just organized and it's just it's a different you know different service from what you know from the, the three airlines that I mentioned. So that's what we're doing um, at this moment, and to make sure that things are just organized and consistent, uh, work with that schedule as best as possible. All right, so let me just switch over from the flyer. All right, so the, the main thing that I did send out was a newsletter. And this newsletter, I just update it um, every month and then I send it out. So the newsletter is going to be that documentation that have all your links and things like that, and then we're just going to scroll through it. All right, so once you um, get the newsletter and you open it, you just scroll on down, you'll see the last two of our group photos. Uh, that was um, Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour. December 2021, um, and it, as you can see, family, uh, this you know this is one of those locations that say first bath of return, but this is actually one of the the programs that we have on there that deal with the African Holocaust, and so this is where our ancestors took their last bath before they were auctioned off to either Cape Coast or Elmina dungeons or any other dungeons that may have existed in that area as far as slave Holocaust dungeons, All right? And we scroll down, then the next photo you see is us in Tanzania. So we're all trying to come up with these unique group pictures and things like that. And that's, that's us family. All you, uh, what you can see is this beautiful black people coming together and enjoying a journey. So you scroll down and just, you have all of the comments called details just organized just immediately that way. If someone sees that there's news that is too long and they don't want to scroll down all the way, the information that you need to know is like right there immediately in your face. And scroll down somewhere, and that was our last journey to uh, Senegal. That's Senegal, uh, April 2021. And um, as you can see, it's a very small group. And I have put together about six Senegal and the Gambia trip, and there's only one that I've worked out, and it was this one. I have just been trying to find different ways to make it work. So and what I'm doing now is reaching out to people like the Happy Companion. Me and him did a live stream, and, you know, to kind of build a connection because, just like I have it in Ghana where we have all the people on the ground and you know, usually I can leave people in the country and then they get taken care of. So that's what I'm looking to do with uh, Senegal, the Gambia, and uh, Tanzania. Uh, so, but I definitely have to just, 
I don't want to give up on Senegal and Gambia. Um, we're going next year, um, March, regardless, even if we have a few people. But uh, right now we're pushing the energy, so the goal is to have a lot more people ready um, since um, you know, we're going to have more time to, and we're going to put more time into marketing in this journey than probably, honestly, more so any other journey. Now, now the Senegal and the Gambia, the roots, culture, energy, it's just, it's just a vibrant connection. And, you know, you're talking about two places, you know, Senegal has Gori Island, and then when you talk about the Gambia, you're talking about um, Kunta Kente Island, Jufri, and the circle places like that. So it's like a well-rounded, unique story of two different countries. Um, so you always hear the word Senegambia, which is Senegal and the Gambia connection. I scroll down. Um, one of the people that believe in consistency, um, I do remember the last time that we had, uh, the last over the last uh, years I've just been, building this uh, YouTube playlist with all of the conference call recordings. So that's kind of what I have set up on YouTube to where I have playlists of everything. If you want to see the playlist of the conference call is there, you want to see what we're doing in our community in Ghana, I have 100 videos shown on the line, uh, including videos that we do conference calls, interviews and things like that. And then if you click on the Ghana playlist, you see a bunch of videos and, this, and so on and so on. So when you're on the YouTube channel, you can literally just go to a playlist and then you can just look at all the playlists. I've been religiously just organizing the playlist as best as possible. That way, and if somebody wants to show, has interest in any of the programs that we have, all you have to do is click play all and family, I promise you, you will get no commercials you know, and things like that. I have people debating with me about, about monetization of YouTube channel. I'm not online like, to do these things. I'm online for one reason. You know, when I started out there with my business called Revolutionary Cam in 2004 when I was 26 years old, you know, and I, I just wanted to make a dedication to us as a people and say, hey, this is our beautiful content, continent of Africa, and we're going to show encouraging videos for us to do things in the different countries. Uh, so it was just kind of like this, an introduction at that point, and then as I record things and put them on VHS or later on in DVD and then eventually now on YouTube to where I'm not limited. I can show a hundred, I can show 150 video clips that range from anywhere from one minute to one hour and the, the different parts of the tour and share them. So that's all right now. I can share things a lot better with individuals and all of that was for the purpose of us connecting together and this, you know, building a future in Africa to where we can do business and things like that. It's kind of hard to make decisions to go to countries and do things when you don't have proper documentation. So my 18 years of me being in this business, as far as just documentation, because then if you ask me about being in business as just doing a tour as a 16 years and things like that. So those are a lot of years. That's well over a decade and a half. Uh, and you see the structure, you see the layout information, you see all the information up front. And we just tell individuals, just, just go with the flow of what we're doing, and then you're good to go. You're going to enjoy yourself to the highest level. Uh, there's no need for any of us to just come and do anything other than just follow directions, focus on what they're looking to do, and then just enjoy life. Uh, so I'm trying to work on us even making these journeys more fruitful, energetic, and then put more things in place. We said, hey, family, if you want more time or if you feel like itinerary is, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a little bit active, and you want some serious downtime, instead of you taking time from the tour, you can stay in the country longer when the tour is finished, or you can stay, get there earlier. And then for those who want to do like safaris and different things like that in Tanzania, we can organize those things. Or if you, you're traveling to Ghana with us, and you want to go to the northern region, and you want to go to you know, a certain place in the northern region, that's easy set up because that's why we have tour guides and we have professionals in the country that, that can look out for you. And I'm just scrolling through this newsletter. So once you scroll down to this newsletter, and also family, for anyone who needs access to the newsletters, once you're on our website, africaforafricans.org, you'll go to the left menu, up, and then you'll click on newsletter. And once you click on it, you'll see a list of all the newsletters that I've published over the last few years. And most of them are going to be you know, the Ghana tour, Tanzania tour, Senegal and Gambia tour. You may see some ones that say South Africa from back in 2019. And then you'll see Black Star Pan-African community and things like that. So those are the things that you see on our newsletter, and it's all dedicated to Africa, tours, and investments. 
So the dates of the tours that I mentioned to you, what I have is the links here from the newsletter. So individuals, if somebody just forward and share the newsletter to them, you can just click on the link and then it will just load you up to the website and then you'll be able to look and see the tour overview, the tour itinerary, the general terms, this is very, very important that you read because sometimes people ask me certain questions. I was like, you know, that's why we have the general terms. Uh, and then I tell individuals, it deals with cancellation, refunds, and transfers and things like that. You know, so I'm always telling individuals, if you can't make a journey, let me know and I can get you on another one. And understand that these terms need to be clear because it's not a situation where you just don't show up on a tour and then you just think that there's going to be a 100% transfer. Um, you know, if you don't show up on tours, the bus is paid for and a bunch of things is paid for and it's based on group payments. So once you don't show up, it's still, those charges still go through and that money is still taken from your account. Um, so what's salvaged and what's left is what we transfer you with and then do our best to just, just make the best adjustments for you as possible. Uh, so make sure you clear on those things, family. And then the ultimate thing, if you can't make a journey, let me know way ahead of time and I'll transfer you to where there is no loss of cost. Only way you get lost is when you literally, like we had situations last year in December and I couldn't, you know, it's like I was, they're expecting 26 people there with a big bus. And then they tell me, I was like, how you have 10, 10, 12 people showing up? I was like, <laughs> I was like, blame it on your country. Uh, you know, when you change mandates in the middle of the travel seasons and things like that, and people have to adhere to it, it throws people off and things like that. So, you know, we moved on strong family, uh, but, you know, so it's a big difference to understanding that the last few days or last month when you're trying to change your mind, it's not going to work. But if you give us way enough time, you're not going to take any loss. So I've worked that out for, for many people over the years and things like that. And that is the big difference. The big difference is, you know, giving us ahead of time, just like the journey for April just wasn't working. And I just had to just, two and a half months before, I just had to just pull the plug on it. So I'm still trying to work things out for people and get the next journey going. That's why I got the dates up and everything. So now i got to work certain things out with the guides and all the people that we had on the ground that we had set up and they were ready to go and things like that. So um, it's uh, these things happen, but I want, I'm mentioning that to let the rest of us know that if we're interested in any of these journeys, if nothing else, at least make a deposit and you can pace yourself. But the numbers of the journey that we're going to do is based on people who are committing. Uh, we literally don't do journeys with five, six, seven people. The smallest group I've ever taken to Africa was eight, and that was the first journey we did in 2006. And uh, the budget was so low, you know, it was, we just basically used from <laughs> flight benefits to other things and make it work to where it was a reasonable, very, very cheap journey, just so we can get our hands in just getting connected to Ghana. And as we scroll down, uh, videos and photos of previous tours, as we talk about, the link is right there, youtube.com forward slash Bomani 2007. And then the photo galleries, I have a whole list. And once you click on our link for Facebook, you'll see photo galleries from, I think there's a, Earliest one is 2006. You may see something else before that from, from other countries and things like that. But as far as Africa for the Africans era, 2006, you'll see every single photo gallery and tour that we have ever done. I mean, they're all there, all of the countries. Brazil is there, Togo, Benin, uh, Ethiopia, uh, South Africa, Tanzania, Senegal, Gambia. I mean, they're all there. So this is a dedication that I have to put to content there. That way you can be clear and you can just... Watch what we did previously, and you see our group. It's just us, the Black Pan African family. I right, so I have a few topics uh, that I'll just go through briefly. Won't go through too much of it uh, because what we have is just documentation. We want individuals to read and process through. Okay. So as far as introduction about myself uh, and things like that. Uh, what I've done is documented uh, my bio on the website. It will say about us. It will talk about the company, and then you have another link that's in my bio and things like that. Uh, that way we can share details with you because if you're going to do business with certain people, you know, it's important that we share information. And I personally just like to let people know who you're dealing with and what we're about. So I've literally showed, since we've been online, I've showed our whole life of everything that we're doing. Even my son, you've seen him growing up from birth. You know what I'm saying? Even videos and pictures with uh, him and his mother at birth and things like that. 
and showing us growing and showing us working and building just like even the houses on the land. And I remember showing people grass and just nothing and the next thing the land is being cleared, houses going up and people just are making moves. So we're showing you what we consider grassroots nation building, meaning that literally you just start from the ground up and build. You know, and that's what I've learned in this business. I've, I have a bookshelf behind me, lots of books. I have a ridiculous amount of conscious and educated DVDs. And most of the time when I used to look at these things, was honestly, between 2003 and 2006. Because once 2006 hit, I was just working nonstop, literally just out there, just building the business that we built. Uh, and then I still continue to study always, but uh, it was not as intense as those early days when I didn't know anything about Africa, anything about my roots, my culture. And I'm talking about it like, you know, pre-2003. And 2003, the whole year was dedicated to studying and uplifting myself because I felt bad when people asked me questions about my roots, my culture, and, and who I was a person, you know, because I was so dedicated to my career as an aircraft technician, trying to build the future and trying to eventually, honestly, one day be, the, be in charge of uh, airport, airlines, and all kind of stuff. You know, I had, you know, and I was working towards those dreams because, but when you, when you get that calling from the ancestors, it changes the scope of things. So I had to just build a fresh career. Uh, that's how I became an IT technician and a business administrator because I needed flexibility to do what the, what the ancestors was calling me to do in Africa and, and things like that. So it's been a, a beautiful journey, and I share those things in my bio and introductions as best as possible about you know, you know, our upbringings and our energy from Jamaica to Brooklyn, New York, to Virginia, to Georgia. Africa and things like that. That's been a consistent journey and just you know, thankful to the ancestors give me the energy and strength to even survive and last this long and then keeping it going to where now it's all about building and development and a whole lot of things that we have in 2022. So COVID era, a financial meltdown and all this other stuff that goes on, crazy people on YouTube, nothing is going to stop this brother from and my crew and us as a people. And repatriation, connecting to Africa, it's just been it has changed over the years. Uh, before, you know, I used to talk to people about, before it was, it was scary just even trying to connect and talk to people about Africa. Now, it's like, you know, the hottest uh, subject, you know, whether people are into it or people are hating on it. You know, uh, black people going to Africa and, you know, basically living and doing business. So those things I mentioned to you is all of our documentation. So you have the written documentation, you have the video documentation, and you have the photo documentation. And it's the same thing, family, I tell people when they're doing any kind of investment or any kind of business with us. And, you know, and we should encourage our people to have information clear. And the only thing people can ever say about me, they're like, you got too much information. And I was like, well, you're spending a lot of money on business, and this is serious, and I need to make sure that you know, you're clear about things because I don't want no drama or problems with people because you know, issues with it, when, when, when people don't understand certain things and don't read it and then they just jump into something and then next thing you know, it, it causes problems and issues, you know? So that's what I'm trying to get all of us to do. And then for those who are just not willing to do that, we can't accept you on the journey. And if you ever want to call me and me, just go through the information. I'm literally fine with doing that, but I can only do that for so many people uh, because the information is just it's right there. Click, read, um, take, uh, or I can just send it in email format also. All right, I'm going to scroll down to some of these other parts of the topics and things. We talk about the, um, the, the tour files in the general terms. Now, visa, uh, as we get ready to go to Ghana, um, if anyone that's looking to travel with us, uh, once you are confirmed to travel with us, just reach out to me, and I'll help you with the visa so you can get it done. And I recommend you just doing the visa anywhere from uh, three to six months before you travel for Ghana visa. And if there's any issues or something go wrong, you have plenty of time to fix it. Before, I used to recommend two to three months, but now I uh, recommend people just do three to six months um, and then recommend everyone apply for a multiple entry visa anyway. Uh, so the visa for, for the Gambia is going to be a five-year visa, and that's going to be $200. For Ghana, you can get a multiple entry uh, visa. That it's, it can be anywhere from like three to five years. I've been getting three years because I've been submitting my, my stuff with my son. If I submitted it different, I may have gotten five years. Uh, but that is a hundred dollars for five for three to five years for Ghana visa, and Tanzania is uh, also um, one hundred dollars, but it's only for one year and it's multiple entry. So I've had to pay for two Tanzania visas already. Me and my little boy, um, or I should say my big boy, and then 
now I'm going to be paying for the third one. So that's the difference in the visa situation. And then what we do is we send you a link uh, for that say Ghana visa, Tanzania visa, or the Gambia visa. And then all you're doing is just reading through it and following the directions. And if you get stuck, you can send an email, text, or you can call me and I'll help you with it. And we have some other files. It's more of like departure, reminder list, and preparation list, uh, which includes like things that, like improving your immune system, Africa, culture, and customs. So those are the things that's on the tour list. Um, and then we have also this, this guideline that's laid out as best as possible for you, like the language translation, so you can work on building your Kiswahili or your Wolof or your Ghana tree. And then scroll down some more. Uh, as far as the airlines, uh, I can get you. Uh, I can get you a flight itinerary at any time because the requirement is a flight itinerary is not exactly your electronic ticket or your actual ticket. But my goal is always to try to clear tickets in our group booking uh, by 30 to 45 days, and it's usually closer to 45 to days to two months where we have tickets clear. But even Delta Sky Team policy has changed your group booking, so now we have to actually lock down the tickets in a two to three months. Um, before we travel, as far as just paying the full balance, right? so which means that you know you'll be able to get access to your ticket much earlier, and also you'll be able to uh, log in and you know get the best seats that you can get. And so once we have tickets clear, you know we usually send the e-tickets out, and then in recommend individuals just log into Delta.com or log into if you have KLM on your flight connection or Air France, then you can log into their website because they're going to show you the international flight that goes from Europe to Africa. And sometimes Delta just shows you all of those, but for the most part, you do have to log into Delta and another and other airline, KLM or Air France. So, so that's um, what that link is for. Um, number nine, when it says Delta Airlines e-ticket access. All right, so I'm scrolling down to the last few things. Just wanted to let everyone know when you're traveling with us, uh, what we have is, you know, we usually recommend everyone bring, uh, you know, we push the the Pan-African energy, so we just usually recommend red, black, green, and gold combination of clothing. Those are the most popular colors of the flag colors across Africa. And so... You can wear multiple col colors, or you can wear one aspect of the colors. So that's what we have set up. And also, um, in Ghana, you see itineraries say wear white, and that's when we go to the Holocaust dungeons. Uh, so I usually just recommend individuals bring a set of whites and a set of these colors. And when you go to itinerary, you see Ancestor Day, or you see certain things like that. And it's just a program to get us in certain colors of solidarity and connect. So you'll see group pictures with us in the tour t-shirts or all white or certain things like that and what we have and we've been consistent with that since 20 um since 2012 is the africa for africans tour t-shirt so it's just different colors and energy and when you're looking at it on facebook or, or youtube or instagram and so on you'll see the big africa map you know and you know and it's it's, it's like showing africa is the world because the map sh is covering the entire part of Africa, you know, and that's what I look at, you know, Africa is the world. Without Africa, there's no, there's, the rest of the world does not exist. Uh, so that was like a powerful energy and statement, and we just keep on pushing it. And then another thing, too, is we, since 2006, I've always been in Africa where we're supporting schools, orphanage, and, you know, places like that. So we usually bring as much school supplies and financial donation is best, and then we just work it to the different schools um, when we're traveling. But we always have that program. We're always connecting to a school and showing love. I just feel like it's just, you know, we have to think always about the future of our, our, you know, our race, the future of us as a people, which is always going to be our children. Uh, so, you know, that and even when, you know, so you talk about children, you talk about investment. So you add in all aspects of uh, nation building and how we connect. And now the Repatriate Investment Conference I only have in Ghana and things like that. Um, don't plan on doing one in Tanzania or Senegal and the Gambia. Plan on doing some other things as far as more networking with um, 
the re replants that we usually organize with, or a group of business people, and that's not straight up just networking. And eventually, we just grow the energy from there. But when I before I even went to Ghana, it was a, this was already set up. I literally started writing a program to make sure that we have a business conference. Even though when I first got there, you know, I'd never been to the country, but I had that conference set up, and it was more like a networking. But from there on, I built a real business conference from 2007 all the way up to now. And in some of the years that we did in the past, we used to do multiple conference. One at the beginning of the tour, one at the end of the tour. Just really pushing repatriation and investments in Africa. All right, scroll down somewhere. You're just going to see more and more group pictures. And then you get to a point where it's going to show you the Facebook links of the different um, Facebook groups that we have that's dedicated to our tours. And then you'll see all of the small little thumbnail of um, tours. And it will show you the last one we did, December 2021. And it goes all the way down to the first one we did. December 2006. And then once you scroll down to the, you just see the end, then you'll see the links again for Facebook, Twitter, website, email, YouTube, Instagram. So that's it, family. These are the documentation that I have for those who are traveling with us. And then my numbers are always on the screen, so I tell people that, you know, we're not hiding our information. So you, you see the number, call it, you don't get me, leave a message, send a text or so, and then give me a chance to get back, because sometimes we're doing live videos, we're in meetings, we're doing presentations, and things like that, uh, but I'm dedicated to what we're doing, so my communication with you is always priority. And what I'm doing is flipping over to the YouTube page. And once you scroll over to the YouTube page, uh, you go to the YouTube page, what you'll see is uploads. You can always click on uploads. You'll see all the videos that we have going on. And then you scroll down somewhere, you see multiple playlists. Now, the multiple playlists is where you're going to see, like I have it set up right here where it shows the Tanzania 2020 and the Tanzania 2021 and then the Ghana tours and what we did last year. And then it'll just, it'll just show you all the list of videos in the playlist. Now, Tanzania, this... Last year I had 69, and I still got at least another 50 plus videos, maybe more to upload. Uh, Ghana has 46, but I still got another same thing, another uh, 60 plus videos. And these are all these are mainly clips. Most of them are short clips that tells a certain story. And anything that we're dealing with with guides, I enjoy recording guides because they know the knowledge, they know the history, and they were trained for that specific site. Uh, Going down somewhere else where you see the Black Star uh, Pan-African community, more multiple playlists, more multiple playlists, uh, Africa Tours uh, conference calls, multiple playlists, uh, Black Pan-African consciousness where we get into some serious subjects, serious subjects in debates and dialogue and things like that. And some people may not be able to handle some of those things, but that's my playlist right there. It's dedicated to us just showing strong energy. And then you'll see more and more playlists because naturally just I literally just keep doing these playlists. And then the last playlist shows some of the historical videos that I have. Uh, European World Economic Domination was basically my favorite lecture. And I wrote a nice term paper in 2006 uh, for my um, economics class at the University of Embry-Riddle uh, using some of that documentation, European World Economic Domination and its impact on Africa and African people. And that's also motivated me to get into some of the things that's organizing us to put our money together and make certain moves. Because as long as we stay separate and individual and we don't step our game up to do business, the rest of the world will keep on doing what they're doing and no one is going to feel sorry for us. And now it's beyond this European world economic domination. You talk about you know, the Lebanese have their stronghold all across Africa, the Chinese, the Indians. You know, those are three powerful nations of, of you know, and there's probably several more. But if we, the diaspora, don't come to Africa and we just say, you know what, we're going to focus on being Jamaicans, um, African Americans, and Trinidadians, and all these things, and we're just going to stick to what we know, and we're just not going to deal with Africa. The continent will fall apart quicker than you can imagine, there's, because there's no way the continent can progress without its diaspora. So for those who are dedicated to this movement, we're not just thinking about one or two things. We're thinking about the future of our people and our race and things like that. We have to keep making Africa relevant, and you know, some of us may have to sacrifice certain things, and, you know, 
and make moves in Africa. Like, yeah, I love Jamaica and I love to just hang out and enjoy Jamaica, but it's like we have a mission to build in Africa. And once I build that mission, you know, then we start working it from, you know, Ghana to Jamaica, you know. You know, Marcus Garvey t talked about those ships, you know, and as a Navy man, I know the importance of ships, cargo, import, export, protecting, you know, your people, protecting the waters of your, your you know, your, your business going on. It's, you know, very important aspects of, uh, of, of the world. So family, those are all of you know, videos and playlists, and right now it's clocking in at 2,996 videos that I've done from 2007. And I mentioned to you, probably about three or four of those videos are monetized. I'm not interested in monetizing video. I just want people to click on the links and watch the videos and see, you know, see what we're doing to share with you about Africa. And we share it from, the, you know, from our heart. Let me see what else I got up here. All right, so now the website itself. And uh, we have the music there. And these are music from some of the, my favorite music from my, you know, from my childhood and from you know, my adulthood as far as black consciousness. And most of the songs are from Jamaican artists, um, but you also have other artists in there. I just honestly picked the best songs I can find that dealt with my topic of love and revolution, um, slash, you know, or love and re revolution equals nation building. So you have some love, to love tunes on there, and, uh, you know, you have some... You know, revolutionary conscious tunes on there, and then when you look at the pictures and you're playing the music, it's like you know, it's it's just connecting. And for the most part, you can navigate the the, the pictures and things like that. I'm working on a better presentation that will show more of the pictures that I have because I have lots of pictures uh, that I really want to show more on the on the screen and things like that. So I'm always looking for different uh, video players or or, or photo. Uh, players that uh, work with our website, which is a Joomla-based website. But so far, you know, this is good and this will work. And if anybody really wants to see all of the photos and everything, they have to go to Facebook and they have to go to YouTube. I don't have any other platform where I can just have videos available like that because it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of information. And again, when you look at the main menu, you see a whole bunch of information from tours, newsletters, uh, tour books. And that's another thing too. We write a tour book for all of the tours, and I've been been on it again since 2012 because I remember the last set of books we wrote was 2007, 8, 9, and we didn't do anything for 2011. And then I restarted it again with the tour books, the tour T-shirts, the pens, the postcards, and things like that to do full-fledged marketing to say, hey family, these these are some of our documentation. This is the book right here. You can you know you can just keep on your coffee table and. You know, you know, the dates are there and everything. You can just reminisce about the nice energy. And outside of the main menu, uh, what I have is just the front page of the website, uh, which is just, as soon as you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of texts, and those texts are just given updates based on things. And then what you see in the middle of the page is also relevant to where you have access to it on the main menu to the left. And the main menu to the left is a permanent menu that will always be there whatever page you click on. And then once you scroll down past the main menu, then you have a lot of other supporting details. You know, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Like my LinkedIn shows, you know, it basically shows my my bio or you can say uh, resume. So it just shows everywhere I've worked at since I was a teenager, not teenager, but, but since I was, um, you know, since from my Navy years to now, from 18 to now, and things like that. And just letting people know this is the person that you're dealing with. You know, someone that get up every day and, you know, and, and work and edu and be about business and life and things like that. Uh, so I don't have any gaps in my, my, you know, my employment, my career. I'm just consistently working. And if I can even show something, I was show from when I was working from 13 years old at a supermarket packing bags and, and a few other positions, including working at the Department of Finance for summer jobs there in New York City and things like that. And just, I'm just, you know, I just appreciate my ancestors, you know, my parents, this you know, they worked 30 years in New York City. You know, once you left from Jamaica and came to New York in the 80s, they worked 30 years nonstop, that, both parents. And it's just been the most motivational thing for me. So at 18, you know, you, you have a family legacy to build on. So you're like, man, I got to get my stuff right. So that's why I joined the Navy and, and been working ever since full time, uh, whether it's my career, my business, or so on. Uh, so I just wanted us to show those things. And 
it's important when you're doing business to show people what you got going on. So that's why you see all these links and all these things. And I spend time doing this. There's no assistant here doing this. I, I put in my full, you know, full 12 hour shift per day and I get all these things done. All right, so family, let me, um, I'm going to stop the uh, screen sharing and then open things up so we can dialogue a lot more. What I want to do is I'm going to click on mute all. All right, perfect, family. Uh, click on mute all and... Uh, what I want to do is to see if anybody have any questions or is there anything that anyone would like to dialogue or talk about in reference to the things that I've gone over, which is more so in general because once I start reading itineraries and things like that, it gets a little tricky and this takes up most of our time. All right, uh, Juma, so, line can, be open. can you hear me? I can hear you. Um, I can't see your video, though, but I can hear you. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm looking at myself. Anyway, and please so you got your suggested that we get a multiple. What's that? Yeah, I was going to say, please send me your visa. What did you say? No, I was saying, uh, please let me know that your visa is completed. But I got you if it's not. We can, me and you can work on it anytime this week. No, I, I'm going to send it in possibly uh, tonight or tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Right? Yeah. So, but you suggested a multiple entry instead of a single entry visa, right? Uh, yes, unfortunately, um, Tanzania won't do the single entry and they won't give you an option, so it has to be multiple entry. It has to be multiple entry, okay. Yeah, because you, you try then, to uh, they won't let you do it. Right, right. And then you have to be careful to apply for the right category. And uh, when you look at the, my photos of my passport and uh, my uh, passport photo, you said that they were acceptable. Uh, yes, and then you, get back, and then you, get back, and you tried to upload it, and you tried to upload it, and yes. Okay, all right. Um, there was one other thing that I saw where they want a, they, uh, when you apply for the visa, they want, your whole itinerary sent to them too? No, they want a flight itinerary. Flight itinerary. You don't have to send your tour itinerary. That's a flight itinerary. Oh, that's the one that we got from Delta. Yes, that's the one I sent you. Yes. Okay. All right. So I could scan that, put that on my desktop, and be prepared to send that in with the visa. No, you don't need to scan it. I send it to you as a PDF. All you have to do is download the file into your computer. All you have to do okay. is download it right. into your um, it downloads folder or whatever you instructed to download, and then yeah. all you're doing is going back and re-uploading that uh, to the system because they request it. They require a PDF file. Okay. All right, I'm good. Any other guys have any questions? I don't know if uh, too many people have any questions, uh, but you know, I do understand a lot of the details that I have out. It's clear, but you know, we still have to publicly do a conference call just to show that you know we're doing. You know, we're making ourselves available and always trying to encourage more people to join and ask questions and dialogue because this is the best time to really share information. But if nothing else, then, you know, I post information and things in the group chat and then individuals can also post messages in the group chat. So if you travel with me, family, or anyone that's looking to call me, please add yourself. Please just send me a message on WhatsApp so I can add you to the relative groups because from here on, that's what I'm doing. This I'm just posting the information in the group pages. All right, so perfect, Juma. So uh, appreciate you traveling with us to Ghana and traveling with us to Senegal and the Gambia. And now you're going to go to one of the best programs that, I, that I've been able to put together, uh, which is Tanzania. Yeah, man, I've and, and that's always more had a great time than other countries. Go ahead. I've always had a great time traveling with you, man. I, you know, and I believe in the cause, and I believe, uh, you know, in what you're doing, and, and I like the way you do it. And so, it's, I like to tell people that as long as I'm alive, I'm always going to travel with Africa for the African. Yeah, absolutely. especially because 
Especially because you don't take no white people with you. Yeah, absolutely. I don't take <laughs> it's, it's a it's you no know, it's for it's a black Pan African family journey, and also it's a journey for you know for those of us who just are, are cool with you know a 44 year old brother taking them on a journey across the world and things like that, and don't have an issue with me being younger than them because that's been some of the issues that I have with people. But I'm you know I'm the one running things, and I'm here to protect and look out for our people. So you have seen it from hanging out and traveling with us, and and then if you know you know us, you know if you want to do more and you know and do social nightlife we're going to take you out and have a good time and in cool. Tanzania is, is the business let me tell people some of the things we do in Tanzania well for, my highlight is Zanzibar Island you know I love Arusha but Zanzibar Island it just bring me to the mix of my connection like in Jamaica like when you're talking about the, the nice beaches and things like that uh, so that's the t Zanzibar Island literally have some of the best beaches in Africa you may um, that's connected to the mainland. You know, you do have Seychelles Island, which is further out and incredible. But while we're there in uh, Zanzibar Island, we're going to be doing uh, full moon, uh, not full moon, we're going to be doing sunset cruise. Uh, full moon is something else. The full moon setup is a party that they throw at Kenmore Rocks, which we've been able to do and show in November 2020. But uh, it's set to where, you know, you're... You're, you're flying in the country from one location to the next. You're doing ferry boats. You're doing a national park, you know, basically a small version of what people think a safari is, uh, going out to see the animals in the national park. We have lots of wonderful places where you do your, you know, do your shopping. I even have on there a Tanzanite uh, experience. So Tanzanite will be their precious mineral or gem compared to, like, diamonds and things like that. Uh, so uh, there are things like that, and... You know, the highlight is Kibo Palace. It's a four-star resort owned by a brother from Kilimanjaro, uh, Tanzania. Uh, so you know I'm all about supporting black-owned business. Uh, then other hotel, the, the last hotel is just a courtyard hotel, which is just keep us close to where we can leave and head to the airport and be in the city limits. Uh, but it's just a nice laid-out itinerary on nine days. Uh, so, family, just want everyone to take a look at these things, be clear on them, and see it. And then when you look at the itinerary, you know, it's like when you see the itinerary, family, we're literally doing all the things that we have in an itinerary. And that's what you have experienced, right, Joomla? You're like, how, how are they going to pull all these things up? And then you, you travel with us, and then you see we do all of it. Right. Right, exactly. Yeah. I had a lot of fun, too. Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, and, and enjoy it. Enjoy it. Where we could still move around and enjoy it. Because, you know, after a while we get up there in the ages and the last thing you're trying to do is move like this. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, while you can still jet ski and do backflips and bungee jump and, and do all the stuff that we have, just, you know, enjoy it. That's true. And then if, you know, you're a little older and you can't enjoy some of the stuff, like we have people who may not be able to walk as good, but, you know, there's no age limit, you know. Whether you, you know, you can come as a, you know, come as a baby or you can come as a 100-year-old adult as long as you can rough it and things, and then we're going to definitely make sure, you know, those yeah. things are good to where we can help people get around. Right. When we were in Senegal, uh, we had a guy who was 82. Yeah, can you imagine, imagine that? And he he was rolling with us. <laughs> right. He had, bad, he had back problems and everything, but he didn't let it slow him down. I'm still impressed by that, brother, literally. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and and he don't, he's not the most technologically person, but... He erupted and we worked it out. So I'm telling people that as long as you have a commitment to travel and connect with us, we'll make it work. You know, we'll make it work. So we don't think we ask people to do this. Flow with us and let's, uh, you know, let's communicate. And then our goal is to have no drama. So let's just make it a good energy and a good journey because, you know, we don't, we don't have time to entertain anyone. And whatever we do in the country, it, you know, outside of our highlights, it's, us and no one needs to know our business, and that's why I'm at. You know, we're 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 certain things just need to stay private. We're enjoying a journey, and there's certain parts of the journey are recorded, but certain parts are not. Uh, and we just chill and enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. So um, when, I, when I start applying for this visa tomorrow morning, you'll be available, though. Huh? Oh I'm yeah, brother. You know, I got your Batman, and if I don't answer, just text me or so, because um, from conference to live streams to presentations to meeting up with people and bringing people over here to where you're doing presentation. Sometimes a little, it may not be available right now, but if you can schedule something and say, hey, mind, can you be available in an hour so you can help me? I'll say, absolutely, brother, I got you. And okay. that's anybody else. All right. 
Well, pleasure talking to you guys again. I absolutely appreciate you, brother. And um, what I want to do is this uh, family is just trying to get questions from anyone else uh, so we can just dialogue about anything. And then after that, we're going to have to um, just uh, shut it down. So what you have to do, family, is press star six to unmute yourself. Or if you're on the uh, screen, you can just click your unmute button. All right, so while everyone is processing to ask any questions, I'm going to go back to screen sharing, and I'm just going to share our flyer. When I'm sharing the flyer, just looking to see if anybody is texting any questions or anybody is, has any questions in general. All right, so no questions. All right, so family, let me look at the other things that I have on here. Yes, I mean, we literally covered it all. I uh, just one of the latest things that I did put on the uh, website is a, uh, a WhatsApp link. So any, if individuals just want to send me a message, they can just click on WhatsApp and send a message from their phone or from their computer. So I did have a remote access or assistant on the bottom right, but it wasn't effective. I wouldn't get too much messages or anything through it. So I removed it, and that way it wouldn't block up the bottom right of the screen and make it look weird and things like that. And then I got a nicer view of the the group photos, so I'm just going to take my time and scroll down from 2021 to 2006. And what I'm doing is family, just looking to see if anybody has any questions. So just uh, unmute yourself by pressing star six or the unmute button. Um, give your name, where you're calling from, what journey you're traveling on, and your question. And most of these group um, pages, uh, family, what you're going to see is just us in the Africa for Africans t-shirts. You know, there's so many different colors. You know, red, black, green, and gold. Those are always the, well, those are all the two t-shirts. And then you have, I have a few white versions. I've only made the white versions for, uh, you know, Ghana. But um, I realized that I can actually work it to do it for other countries. I'm just looking at my Brazil African Roots Tour group July 2017. <clears throat> I always wanted to go to Brazil, and that was the only time I ever had a, had a chance to go. And uh, we tried to reboot the journey to put the journey, the tour out, but it didn't catch on, unfortunately. And even I look down and I see this Ethiopia journey. This wasn't my tour. I didn't. I wasn't the tour leader or the organizer. I was. I was invited to do video documentation, which I documented the whole journey, and you know, photos and everything, and been marketing the country for a long time, but. No, it just didn't kick off. So when you have civil unrest in your country, it's rough to figure these things out. Uh, so that's another country I never was able to get going. So, you know, when we have Senegal, the Gambia, and Tanzania, you know, you, know, you just, you know, work it out with new countries. And also just go down the technology of the, the pictures based on the cameras. You'll see the quality is so much more better with the newer photos. And we have always have good equipment, but you're going to see the times. Just like even when I did my Egypt 2004 documentary, and I put it up on YouTube, you can kind of see, you know, the quality is no com way compared to what we do now. Everything we do is 4K. My phone is 4K, and the camcorder right here I have is 4K, and it just gives the best quality. So that is all of those groups, and then at the bottom I have this Tanzania banner. You just click on it, and it'll take you to the, you know, that's a feature tour that we have. And once I get some energy going with Tanzania, I'll flip this and change it over to Senegal and the Gambia, which will probably be in about a few few months.
All right, so family, if uh, no one has any questions, uh, we're going to close. That means that everyone is clear and everything sounds good, which, uh, which is fine. So remember, all of the documentation that you need is online, YouTube, Facebook, the website, and then communications can be communicated with us through. Uh, Juma, did you have another question? No, I just think it's amazing that nobody has had any questions, not Cheryl. Or Teresa, you have to you call. Know? It's a recorded call. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, this is the first time I've ever been on a conference call. Nobody even had any questions at all. So I guess everybody has prior experience as world travelers. No, the thing of it is, is the information is you know, the documentation. People are reading to it and they're clear on it. Uh, so a lot of times people don't really have questions, uh, but so that is definitely understandable. I mean, it's better for people to be clear on it than not. Uh, but if you see people doing certain things and people have a lot of questions, that means the information that they have on the site is not, you know, is not relative. But um, right. Uh, so you know, once you read all the stuff on the tour Mr. site, Lisa. oh greetings, Mr. greetings, how are you? <laughs> greetings, Lamani. You know we have questions, but the one I want to go to is Senegal and Gambia. It's not the 2023, so I'm trying to be quiet and, and at peace. Oh, perfect. I'm glad you, well, I'm happy that you know that. Uh, I'm happy that you mentioned that because I've had people tell me after I canceled the Senegal and Gambit trip, it's like they wanted to go. I was like, family, if you're trying to go on a journey, you can't just like let, let me know two months before we leave because the numbers are not there. i got to cancel because now I've locked myself into a tour to where I'm not doing a tour and you know I have other projects and business that I would like to use that time for. Like once I canceled Senegal and Gambit, I started working on other projects like, you know, People been able to. We're trying to keep 2023 going on, okay? Well, we already started getting people to join that journey already, and then okay. some of the people from the other journey they're transferred over. So we're looking good. So what I'm going to be reaching out to more and more people on is deposits, and that's going to define the group, and then I'm going to add them onto the group. So Teresa, I'll add you to the uh, WhatsApp group because that also let me know um, how many people are going and things like that. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely, and I appreciate your energy. Last time we was in South Africa, you was there with my mother and everybody, and we just yeah, had a blast. We had a good time. And then Very next, you know, we can't go back to, you know, we didn't get a chance to go back to South Africa because it was some, you know, the country was on lockdown, and Tanzania opened up, and once once you go to Tanzania, it changes. It, it's hard to go back to certain things because it was just so much of a better schedule from the national park to the flights to the logistic movements and everything. Okay, all right. Well, that's one I'm thinking of too. But I definitely want Senegal and Gambia. That that's a certain. <laughs> okay, signing Absolutely. off. Absolutely, uh, sister. Appreciate your energy. All right, so family, uh, we're gonna close um, unless someone has a question. But uh, appreciate everybody for joining the call, and I'll keep you posted and keep you updated on everything that's going as we get ready to leave in three months on our magical Ghana journey for our 16th year traveling to Ghana and look to this, get people all of the updated documentation for, especially when looking to go back to the land and meet, you know, meet the, you know, our people that's on the land and also to share more updated details. So, so family, we all have a whole lot to share with you this year. And right now I have a lot of documentation still from last year. So I'm going to be just offloading or uploading just a whole lot of photos and video still from especially the last two journeys we did, which is Tanzania and Ghana. All right, so I'm going to just click on open. All right, so family, I got everybody unmuted. So family, appreciate everybody, uh, energy and joining the call. Everyone, you take care. We can all hear you and everything. So take care and we keep it strong. And I'll connect with everybody on the next conference call, which is going to be March 20th. Uh, so that's uh, about a little bit over four weeks from now. All right, so family, everybody take care, and we'll connect back. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night, Romani. Bye-bye. All right, good night, good night. See you later.